okay a divides b means what this a should first of all be not equal to 0 okay you cannot have that a to be 0 and b is allowed to be any integer and then i will say that a divides b if uh, b is equal to am so i can write b as a multiplied by m where m is some integer and in notations we will write it as a vertical line b we will not write it as a upon b a oblique b this is not correct so it is this this is uh, this is just a symbol to say in short it is just a phrase a divides b it is not a upon b for example 4 divides 20 4 divides 20 means 20 is divisible by 4 which is the same thing to say that 20 is equal to 4 multiplied by some number and that some number is m or k we will say it sometimes m sometimes k so the 4 4 20 is equal to 4 multiplied by 5 for example 7 divides 20 7 divides 20 is this statement a correct statement so this statement is we will check we will write 20 is equal to 7 multiplied by m so what is that m that m must be integer it cannot be 20 upon 7 so that so you cannot find that m so this means that uh, 7 does not divide 20 for instance 5 divides 20 is correct because you can write 20 is equal to 5 multiplied by something then we also saw that if a divides b not necessarily b divides a okay it is not uh, always true for example 4 divides 12 but 12 does not divide 4 so this statement is not necessarily true for all the time okay so now we will discuss uh, some properties of divisibility the very first property of divisibility that we are going to discuss is if a divides b and b divides c then a divides c this is the first property of divisibility very simple property so we will use a definition here to prove this property so if a divides b then i can say that b is equal to a k1 where what is k1 where k1 is an integer if uh, b divides c then again by definition i can say that c is equal to b into k2 where k2 is some integer okay this first statement i will call, i will denote by equation 1 and the second statement i will denote by equation 2 now what i want to prove is that i want to prove that a divides c so i will start with a person from equation 1 and 2 which which involves c so by equation 2 we know that c is equal to b into k2 which is equal to from equation 1 now i can substitute this value for b from equation 1 what will i get b can be written as a k1 so it is a k1 multiplied by k2 which is equal to a k1 into k2 now k1 is integer k2 is integer and therefore k1 multiplied by k2 is also integer and that integer i am going to call k1 multiplied by k2 that integer i am going to call k3 so what is k3 k3 is k1 into k2 and product of integers is integer if, if k1 is integer k2 is integer then k then k3 is also integer so therefore k3 will also become an integer and what we have obtained at the end is that c is equal to a k3 where k3 is what where k3 is integer and the meaning of this is that a divides c okay so we have started from a divide b and b divide c and we have proved that a divides c we will prove the second property property number 2 if a divides b and a divides c 
then a divides b plus c then a divides b plus c so the proof of this is also very simple so i will start with a divides b and a divides c so a divide b means it is giving us that b is equal to a k1 where k1 is integer a divides c means c is equal to a k2 where k2 is also some integer this first line i will call equation 1 and second is equation 2 now what we want to prove is we want to prove that a divides b plus c so in the first equation i have b is equal to something in the second equation i have c is equal to something so i will add equation 1 and 2 so that i will get b plus c on the left hand side so add equation 1 and 2 so when i add equation 1 and 2 left hand side will become b plus c and on the right hand side i will have a k1 plus i will have a k2 so i will that uh, equal to a is common and i will get k1 plus k2 now this k1 plus k2 can be written as what k3 where what is k3 k3 is equal to k1 plus k2 is addition of two integers integers k1 is integer k2 is also integer therefore k1 plus k2 is also integer so this k3 is what k3 is nothing but a integer and what we have obtained is that b plus c is equal to a multiplied by k3 where this k3 is a integer and therefore from this statement i can say that a divides the left hand side which is b plus c so we started with a divides b we uh, we started with a divides b and a divides c and we have proved that a divides b plus c a simple example for this above property is that if we know that 4 divides 12 and we also know that 4 divides 8 right so this is like a divides b and this is like a divides c so what is the value of a over here the value of a is 4 what is the value of b over here the value of b is 12 what is the value of c the value of c is 8 if i know that 4 divides 12 if i know that 4 divides 8 then the above property tells us that 4 also divides 12 plus 8 4 also divides b plus c 4 also divides 20 this statement is also correct right so this is what we have proved in the above property we have we are just verifying that if 4 divides 12 and 4 divides 8 does 4 divide 12 plus 8 we know that 4 actually divides 20 so the property is here verified okay if a divides b and c divides d then a into c divides b into d so let us try to write the proof of this property a divides b the meaning of a divides b is equal is nothing but b is equal to a k1 k1 is integer c divides d means d is equal to c k2 where again this k2 is also an integer so I am going to call this equation 1 and I am going to call this equation 2. What I want to prove is that A into C divides B into D. So I will start searching for what? I will start searching for BD. What about B into D? So by so I have equation 1 is talking about B equal to something. Equation 2 is talking about D. So I have to multiply equation 1 and 2. So when I multiply equation 1 and 2, the left hand side will be what? The left hand side will be B into D and the right hand side will be A K1 multiplied by C K2 
विच इज इक्वल टू ए इंटू सी इंटू के वन इंटू के टू एंड दिस के वन इंटू के टू इज अगेन वॉट के वन इज एन इंटीजर के टू इज इन इंटीजर सो के वन इंटू के टू विच आई एम कॉलिंग के थ्री नाउ दैट ऑल्सो विल बिकम एन इंटीजर सो के थ्री विल ऑल्सो बिकम अ इंटीजर बिकॉज मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ इंटीजर इज अगेन इंटीजर सो इट इज ए सी के थ्री सो आई गॉट दैट बी इंटू डी इज ए सी मल्टीप्लाइड बाय के थ्री वेर के थ्री इज अ integer and this in return tells us that ac divides bd okay so we started with a divide b and c divide d then ac divide bd okay what is a simple example for this a simple example for this is that 2 divides of uh, 6 And three divides nine. So what is the value of a here? This is a divide b, okay. And this is c divide d. So then I can, from the above theorem, I can say from from the above property, I can say that two multiplied by three divides six multiplied by nine. Means it is saying that six divides fifty four. So this is actually this is a true statement so we have again verified the above property okay